here is build number three um, looks like it's going to be probably about half to three quarters of the way finishing up the um, axles as you can see um, I got the manual right here we're on bag C on page 17 so here's the um, parts and pieces that are in bag C um, got the links some screws and some other screws with the nuts and stuff now there's other pieces right there for the build as well more links but that's for further down the road um, just to make a quick note you also want to make sure that you grab the right pieces one's going to be the longer piece and one's going to be the shorter one so there's only two different sizes so you want to make sure you grab the um, 6 by 106 millimeter and the 6 by 98 millimeter <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and continue on with the build so and right off the bat you can see it needs this piece grab that little access off and it's looking for the steering the front end so right here and it's going to go through this piece right here and it's asking for piece number AXA1417 which I'm assuming is this piece the way it looks like um, so we'll go ahead and grab that and it's asking for one of these Slide that through. Pretty tight there. There we go. <clears throat> Now it's asking for the drive shaft, which you can see right here, and it's asking for the one with the groove side, as you can see here, maybe right there, I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not, slide that in, it's looking asking for this type of screw right here, and I want to put the smooth part in first. I'm going to have to turn it. There we go. Looks like it's a smaller piece. So it looks like the front end for right now, as far as I can go. Now it's on to the rear axle. <clears throat> and now it's asking for the, um, the plastic pieces. And they look to be all the same. Let's make sure they are. Alright, so they actually aren't. They are different lengths, as you can tell. Um, it's asking for number three. So right here is number Again, it's asking for these little grommet deals on AX80,018. <clears throat> so, with the holes facing towards the right, it wants us to put this in facing this way, and then the other one the opposite way. Oop, I take that 
piece off here in a second. Just snip it off. Put that aside. Now the issue is, is the instruction manual for these two right here. They don't say what part it is. So I don't know if this is just saying where to put those grommets and then that one piece. So I'm going to assume these are wanting to be both number three because number three is in the middle here. You got these two and then these two up here are number two. So I'm going to take a chance and do that here right now. <clears throat> Again, got to get those little pieces here. Facing this way, and then the other one facing the other way. Okay. Both of these will go towards the middle here. So this is saying again with the long screw. So let's look at one of those for right now. Okay. The next one. Okay, so it's actually this one right here with the mushroom head and not this one because it has to go all the way through the other end so you can put one of these nuts on it. go so you can see it come all the way out through and these nuts look to be well not all the same size it looks like one's different in size so it's funny is that they even put the part numbers on the manual for nuts and screws but they're Sometimes too hard to tell which one's which. So you want to keep that in mind. Just in case. Alright, it's all the way through. So that's not going anywhere. Okay. So now, it's looking like asking for the other end of the dry shaft or the rear just a, a quick note um, I don't know if these are supposed to be spares I can't find nothing in the manual that mentions that but if you can let me know please do because I got extra shafts here for the build so, and I don't see anywhere else that needs them, so I'm assuming they give you extras, which is really nice, but it's kind of confusing at the same time. So, anyways, again, for the rear end, it's asking for the part of the groove side to go where the um, hole is. 
Oh. I haven't even had this in water yet, and it's already rusting right in there. Huh. That's crazy. Uh, grease that sucker up when I get a chance before. That aside, now it's asking for these. It looks like take these all thread links. Looks like you can see right here if you can. Um, move this closer. So as you can see, put those links in, and then the holes. So put these in. I don't see nothing that says anything about putting. Lock tie line. So looks like I need to put these on the eyes first. So it's asking for number one, number ones. So I need to pop off four of these. Seems to work pretty well, I guess. Whatever you can find, you just gotta make sure you hold it real tight so the threads don't turn. That way, you don't strip the um, threads. So, it looks like this stops pretty much where it needs to once it gets all the way in. So where the number is saying that it wants this one face in this way and the other one face come out the other way. So. Alright, so I went ahead and paused the video and got these done. These other links and stuff. Um, another thing is, I got these plastic links as a spare. Also, I don't see anywhere else in the manual that they require them to be placed. But I could be overlooking it, or they could just be spares. But I don't see why, because again, like mentioned, these are a little bit longer than the ones I used from what the manual requested to use. So if you can mention that too in the comments and let me know. Alright, so moving on. As far as um, I've seen something that in the manual that it calls for the 98 millimeters onto the front side. So it wants the smaller links to be placed on the front axle. So... 98, that's 106, 98, alright, so now it's asking, it looks like it's both these are going right inside, lower this camera down, looks like both of them is being requested by the manual to go in place like this. So, face it that way, and then place it in there like so. And then it's requesting this screw to go in. Up. 
some. Lighting's kind of hard to see. Again, I don't see nothing that says a Loctite, but then again, these nuts have like a the rubber piece at the end, like a for the locking part portion of it, so a way the screw doesn't come out. Shot goes in first again. And then the writing goes towards back here. So my camera died and I just went ahead and continued to um, finish them up. But here is the final product of the um, build from bag C. As you can see everything is mounted to the axle so far. Um, there are a couple other things that have to be mounted to the axles further in the build but for right now it's just pretty much the shocks and the links and that drive shaft so um, <clears throat> it wasn't too bad but uh, see how it goes further into the build um, as I mentioned earlier looks like I'm going to have to put some grease on some of these spots since it's already rusting inside here on both of them and so I gotta get that fixed before they get any worse. But um, I hope you enjoyed this build and learned something. And um, see you on the, the next video. Thank you.